Hey guys. Alrighty. So what we're going to do today is we are going to spread a little love and kindness um, as part of our week for wrapping up the month of February, the month of love. And um, we are going to take some things that we have that we've been maybe hoarding or maybe you've just had a long time and you kind of don't really want to keep them anymore, but you don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I have a lot of things like that. So when I was cleaning out some stuff recently, I found some interesting, a stash of interesting handmade papers, some of which I bought, some of which were gifted to me. I honestly don't remember where any of these came from. So I took a few of the designs that I like, but I have, you know, duplicates and triplicates of things and I don't really need them. And I cut or tore them to about the same size as these envelopes that I also had in my stash. So we're going to make little junk journals or little glue books out of them to then send off in happy mail um, or rack to somebody here in the My Year 2017 Facebook group. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not a member of the Facebook group, My Year 2017, the link is in the description below and you can get the list there to participate in our swaps and um, share some of your artwork and see what else we're up to over there. We do live broadcasts straight to the group um, every now and then. Um, so I've torn up a bunch of my papers and I've got my envelopes here. So I'm going to sit and assemble some signatures. We're going to just do a simple single, single signature little book. So I'm going to do that and I am going to speed forward through the process or just show you when I'm done. I'm actually not sure. I'll probably speed through it forward through the process a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are here in iMovie and I just wanted to show you really quick something I really like about iMovie, which is um, an easy way to create a video thumbnail if you're on YouTube. So I'm going to uh, move my video that I've created here. This is a video I just edited a few minutes ago for YouTube and you just wanna move the bar here across 
Okay, so now we're going to take some multicolored twine here. This is one of my box of um, stuff like this that I have for book binding. And I'm going to take about two times the length of the envelope here. Some of you already know how to do this and that's fine, you can skip ahead. I should really have my reading glasses on for this. Because I can't see what I'm doing. All right, and I've got a book binding needle here, which is this big, huge needle with a large eye on it. And someday we'll manage to get our thread in the needle. There we go. All right. Now, you could be way more precise about this than I'm going to be. Uh, you know, if the messy, grungy look is not for you, then you're going to want to measure and make sure everything fits properly. I'm okay with stuff hanging out the edges and not measuring the holes. This <laughs> You might need to do some more measuring. I'm going to poke one hole in the center here of the fold, approximately. And then about an inch and a half out from that center hole on either side. This one has some tape on it. Try not to poke yourself. I'm using the Tim Holtz, po Holtz Pokey Tool. I don't know what it's really called, if that's what it's called. I'm going to put the thread in from the inside through the center hole. And I'm not going to pull it all the way out. I'm going to leave some right here. And then I'm going to go into this hole here on the left. I've moved my papers just a little bit. So when that happens, then there we go. And it's hard to find to line up all the holes. There we go. And pull. Okay. There we go. So hold this, pull it tight. I'm taut. Then go down to that other hole at the bottom. So for the pages, I used some of this paper I found in my stash. I used bits of a white shopping bag. Um, I used an envelope, again, from my stash of things for the cover. And I'm going to make a bunch of these, and then I'm going to um, show you what else we'll do to them. So go back up that center hole. There we go. And I'm going to have one string end on one side of this center string and one string end on the other side, and I'm going to tie it in a knot so that it won't poke through, and tying it around that center string will ensure that it doesn't poke through. I tie it three times, and then I'm going to trim these short, ish, like a quarter of an inch, half an inch long, and then um, there we go. I love that way that looks. So um, I have the envelope, and then one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight page pieces of paper in here in each one of these. So I'm going to get the rest of them sewn and I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm going to take some other little goodies that I love that I'm sort of hoarding and holding on to and not using. Um, and we're going to include them in the journal. I have a really pretty sparkly cardstock colored tag I've had for a very long time. Um, a couple more tags, they're from various recollections tag packs from Michaels. Again, I've had them forever. Some of my doodle bugs. Some of my stickers that you can down, you can get the digital downloads for which in my Etsy shop. Anybody remember the tag swap for over at Crazy Island Family? So here's one of the tags. We're going to put everything in this little 
red and white little goodie bag. I, I don't even know how long I've had these. I found them in my stash. I'm not sure how long I've had them. There we go. And I'm going to put everything in the little goodie bag. Oops. And I have the, I found these heart shaped paper clips in my ginormous stash of paper clips that I have. And so we're going to put that with our little journal and we're going to do six of them that way. And they all have the same thing. Um, some of the patterns on the tags vary. Some of the heart shaped paper clip, uh, paper clips um, vary in color, but everything's basically the same thing. And I, I made eight of these little journals, so I'll have two to add to my box of glue books. These would make great little glue books, grab and glue books. If you haven't seen the grab and glue video, it's here on my YouTube channel. Okay. And these would also make really great little travel journals to document a particular trip in your life or a particular event. Um, celebrate um, love and kindness um, to celebrate your life with your partner, your children, anything like that. These would be great little books for any of those things. Or just to spread some cheer. Make some to spread some cheer to somebody that you know could use a little cheer up. Okay. So then... We have this, so we have these, then I'm going to take my sales bin, which is, this is, has little small objects for sale, and my sale, uh, my postcards I include with the purchases when you guys buy something from my Etsy shop, and I'm going to take one postcard. in each and I'm going to take a sticker these are some stickers that are available for purchase in my Etsy shop and we're going to I think use this one and maybe this one. So one, two, three. One, two, three. So I want you to get together and with your stuff and things that you have in surplus, things that you love but are no longer using. Put together a cute little care package of maybe a little, a little glue book or junk journal or some other kind of care package and rack it or happy mail it to somebody on our happy mail list to use in their my year journal this year or in their traveling. I'm going to do that with this. Six lucky people are going to get these little journals and you know, I have been saving up bits and pieces that I've made over all of my videos uh, this week. And I know you haven't seen me do some of these things yet when you see this video, but you will. And um, one person is going to get all of this and a journal. The rest of them will just get the journal. So there you have it. I hope that gives you some ideas of what you can do with your stuff and go out and think about paying it forward, showing some love to those around you, maybe a stranger. It would be great if you went to the Happy Mail or Rack List in either the My Year 2017 Facebook group or one of your other groups and send it to a perfect stranger. How great would that be to make a new art friend 
Uh, that's it for right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. That would be fabulous. And support my channel uh, if you can by shopping in my Etsy shop. The links for the Etsy shop, all the Facebook groups, and everything are in the description below. The most important thing, of course, is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.